What is up, everyone? <laughs> Today we are on the hunt to find fairy lights and some glasses. Let's go. But first, you know, we need to get that good old bracket, you know what I'm saying? Um, knowledge, guys, knowledge. That's, that's the key to this. So I'm having my breakfast biscuit. <laughs> I'm having my breakfast biscuit here. They didn't have any sausage, so I had to go with back bacon. So might as well have it. We're gonna run some errands. And we're gonna search for the fairy lights. And we're gonna search for some glasses. Preach. And it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be fun. Still not used to looking at a camera, so please pardon me if my eyes do not look at you. It's no hard feelings, okay? So you know, it's it's Monday, and, um, and you expect, you know, stores to be open, and it's all good. But Michael's, over there is closed on a Monday, Monday morning. So our next stop is Chapters. Sad start. Hey guys, I just want to kill myself after seeing this sign. It's no big deal though. So out of everything on these racks, we've only found one on the sale rack. This is not going well, guys, so far. You need to help us find string lights. So I don't know how I missed this whole aisle, but we found them. And there they are, in all their glory. So we're gonna get them. So it's a success, guys. We got it. We're gonna do some test photography with it. It's gonna be fun. Let's get them. We out here just buying some accessories for a house, urban barn. It's a pretty brisk day in Barrie, Ontario, but we're out here and we're about to go check out good old urban planet. There it is in all its glory. We need to make one final stop to get us some glasses. We made it back to my basement studio and this is where I will be doing the shoot. So let's go. Today we're going to talk about doing it the Brandon Wolfel way. I think I'm missing something. Much better. Let's get going. So what you'll need for this effect is a camera, preferably with a 50 millimeter lens, because that's what Brandon uses. A set of fairy lights, I got mine at the local chapters. A pair of frames, I found them from my urban planet. And a subject, preferably human, but in this case, I chose a cat. So you want to get your subject with the glasses on, and you want to put the fairy lights in front of the glasses so that it's showing a reflection. That'll give the clear impression of the lights on the glasses and give it that cool effect like shown in this photo. If you play around with a lot, you can get some really cool effects. Um, Brandon also likes to use um, some CDs and some prisms to refract the light into the subject. Um, I haven't tested out those yet, but I'd love to in the future. But you know, you can try different lighting settings, you can try different locations, different times of day, just anything to try and get a different effect out of the photo. I had a lot of fun experimenting with this project, and I can't wait to keep trying out new things within this realm of light. Finally, here are some photos that I have edited and they turned out really cool. So there you have it. You learned a lot and um, I really love doing this kind of stuff now. The photography tips and everything that has to do with photography. Um, I enjoy just being able to work with my hands and just being able to teach and, and help people out. And so if you guys like it, leave a like uh, down below and a comment. I'm um, just showing your support, and also, if you guys wanted me to keep doing this, uh, same thing, just leave something to let me know down below, and then I'll catch you on the next video. Take care, guys.